So <coughs> we're in the section about substitution. <coughs> okay, and the question that we solved was given the given a description of a square, find something else about it. Okay, so let's do a, another example. So for example, okay, if the perimeter if the perimeter of a square of a square is P some value p, then find the area of the square in terms of p. Okay, so just as an expression of p, you're not going to find a number as a result. <coughs> think? Someone give me an idea. Hmm. Perimeter is P. Okay, I agree that P divided by 4 is important. What is P divided by 4? P divided by 4 is the length of the side, right? Oh, I have the straight line thing. The length of the side is p over 4, right? And this is p over 4. <coughs> so we could kind of do it. I'll do it in steps. So this is a square, so all the sides, all the sides have length x, right? <coughs> and so we know that 4x is p. 4x is p because that's the perimeter going around x plus x plus x plus x. So x is p over 4. Okay, so each one of those you can you can write as p over 4. p over 4, <coughs> p over 4, p over 4, p over 4. And now we want to find the area, area. <coughs> so area in terms of x would be x squared. But in terms of p would be what? p over 4 squared. And so you could multiply this out and get something like p squared over 16. So any question about this? <coughs> any question about it? OK, so we're just going to do a few examples like this. And then we're going to move on to a new section. So let me know if you have any questions. <coughs> okay, so another example involving squares. <coughs> so for example, what's going on? Oh. For example, <coughs> find find the area of a square again in terms of the diagonal diagonal length d <coughs> diagonal length d So whenever you're given a question like this, an impor a important thing, really, is to draw a picture of what you have. So if you haven't already done so, draw a picture of what you have.
Okay, so we have a square. And in addition to that, okay, we know something else. So what is the, that's supposed to be a square, isn't it? That doesn't make sense. Okay. So then <coughs> we know the diagonal. So what is the diagonal of a square in here? Right, it's the, it's the thing that goes from one corner to uh, the next corner, right, like so. So this thing right here is the diagonal. So we know that its length is going to be denoted d. And what we need, what we really need to compute the area of the square, we need the length of the sides, not the length of the diagonal. So we need to know this x and this x. Or, you know, they're all the same because it's a square. So we need to know x. Okay, so someone give me... Did anyone see why it went off? So, sorry? Oh, it said something about the air filter? Oh, that means I'm not going to be able to turn it back on. Oh, wow. It was saying that on the screen? For, oh. No, no, I don't see it up here. Let's think about this for just a minute. <laughs> this is going to be funny in the post on YouTube. You're going to hear me talking about all this junk. <sighs> so the air filter thing, so even if I turn it off and back on, it's only going to last for five minutes. That means I can't use the document camera. So, Okay, so what we're going to have to do we're going to have to break for five minutes while I go get my markers and we'll do the, we'll do the rest of it on the thing. So sorry, I, I have no idea if there's a thing that's going to break. Okay, so we're going to break for five minutes while I go get some markers. Please enjoy the time. I'll be back in a